Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see hotkeys and shortcuts. What is the use of it? The iOS CLI provides hotkeys and shortcuts that make configuring, monitoring and troubleshooting easier. Then we will see all those hotkeys and shortcuts which can be used with our uh, iOS. First of all, we will see Ctrl A and Ctrl E. Ctrl A moves to the beginning of the line. Control E moves to the end of the line. We will see that using our Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, here we will use a ruler 2911. Coming to this ruler, CLI. Ruler is starting. System configuration dialog, we will give no. Here we are going to uh, privileged exit mode by giving this command enable and here we can see we are going to give configure terminal. Here in this command we can see the cursor is at the end of these commands. Suppose we want to bring this cursor at the uh, beginning of this command. So we can press Control A from the keyboard. Uh, now I am going to press Control A. Here we can see a uh, cursor uh, jump to uh, this uh, beginning of the command. Suppose we want to uh, bring this cursor at the end of this uh, command. That means uh, after this configure terminal, uh, we can press Ctrl E. Here we can see now this cursor at the end of these commands. So here uh, the cursor is of anywhere. Uh, even though we can bring this cursor at the beginning of the command or at the end of the command. For example, here we can see this cursor at the end of this uh, uh, command. I'm going to bring it to do uh, between these two commands, configure and terminal. Suppose now we can bring it at the end of the, this command or at the beginning of this command. Suppose we want to bring it at the end of the command, then we can press Ctrl E. Here we can see this cursor uh, at the uh, end of the command. Cursor is here. Now we want to bring it at the uh, beginning of this command. Then we can press Ctrl A. Next we will see Ctrl K and Ctrl U or Ctrl X. Ctrl K. So this Ctrl K erases all characters from the cursor to the end of the command line. Then Ctrl U or Ctrl X erases all characters from the cursor back to the beginning of the command line. We will uh, see those uh, shortcuts using our Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, suppose uh, in this privileged mode, we are going to give the command configure terminal. And here we can see our cursor is at the end of these uh, commands. Here we want to delete all the characters or these two commands uh, configure terminal uh, from the cursor back to the beginning of the command line. So here we have to press Ctrl U or Ctrl X. Uh, here I am going to press Ctrl X and here we can see the changes. So here we can see this uh, configure terminal uh, deleted. Once more we will give configure terminal and we are bringing our cursor uh, to the beginning of this command. So we have to press the shortcut Ctrl A. Suppose we want to erase uh, all the characters from the cursor to the end of the command lines. So here we can see that com uh, this cursor is at the beginning of this uh, uh, commands. So here we are going to press Ctrl K and we will see what happens. We can see uh, those uh, commands are deleted. Now we will see the other possibilities with these uh, shortcuts. Uh, again, here I am going to give a configure terminal and here I am going to bring my cursor uh, here uh, just after configure. Suppose I want to remove only terminal, uh, then we can use again control K. Uh, I am going to press control K here. We can see uh, all the characters after this cursor. Uh, it's going to be deleted. Now we can see this uh, terminal is re uh, removed. Suppose here we have a terminal also. Coming back to, here we can see our cursor is just after configure. Uh, here we want to uh, remove uh, the characters or this command configure, only configure. Then we can use Control U or Control X uh, so that uh, uh, these characters will be uh, removed from the cursor back to the beginning of the command line. So here we have to use Control U or Control X. I will press Control U. 
and here we can see that configure command is removed. Now we will see these uh, shortcuts Ctrl B and Ctrl F. First of all, Ctrl B moves the cursor back one character, it is equivalent to the left arrow key. Next one is Ctrl F moves the cursor forward one character, and this is equivalent to the right arrow key. It's really easy. Uh, so, first of all, we will use Ctrl B. I am going to press Ctrl B. Here we can observe that. Ctrl B. So, here we can see it moves the cursor back one character. Here we can see that it goes one by one. Now, I am going to press Ctrl F so that it moves the cursor forward one character. So, I am going to press Ctrl F. Here we can see uh, it goes forward. Again, I am going to press. Again, I am going to press. So, here we can see the changes. Now, we will see Ctrl W. So, it erases the word to the left of the cursor. Actually, it erases only the word uh, to the left of the cursor. So, we will see that. So, here we can see configure terminal. Uh, cursor is at the end of this command. So, here I am going to press Ctrl W. So, here only one command, the one word terminal will be removed. We will try it. We will press Ctrl W and here we can see only terminal is removed. Suppose again we are going to press Ctrl W. We will see what happens. Configure is removed. Suppose here we have a configure terminal and our cursor is at the middle of these commands and here we are going to uh, uh, we are going to give the shortcut Ctrl W. So the word configure will be removed. You will see that here. Configure is removed. Next we will see Ctrl D. It deletes the character to the left of the cursor. Actually this Ctrl D is having the function of our uh, delete key on our keyboard. Suppose here we want to uh, use this delete. We want to delete this N. Actually, the delete button it won't work. So here we have to give Control D. Here we can see that I am going to press Control D. N is deleted. Suppose again I am going to give Control D. A will be deleted. Once more we can give it so that L will be deleted. Suppose if you are pressing again Control D, there won't be any effect. Next, we will see Control Shift 6. So, this uh, shortcut allows the user to interrupt an iOS process uh, such as ping or a trace route. We will see how this uh, Control Shift 6 uh, works. So, now we are in a user exit mode. Suppose we want to go to privileged exit mode. Here, I am going to give the command. Um, here, we can see the com uh, this uh, enable command. The uh, spelling is incorrect. I am going to press enter here. So here we can see translating e a n e b l e domain server. So it takes uh, some time to come back to our uh, user exit mode again. So we can interrupt this iOS uh, using this uh, shortcut Control Shift Six. So I am going to press Control Shift Six. So we can see uh, it's aborted. Here, even we can interrupt an iOS process such as ping or a trace route. Suppose here we are going to give a ping command. Uh, ping simply we will give an IP address 192.168.1.1 so here we can see it takes some time suppose we want to stop it so we can press Control shift 6 so here we can see it's interrupted now we will see these uh, shortcuts uh, coming to down arrow or Control P uh, so uh, this uh, shortcut allows the user to scroll forward through former commands then up arrow or Control N uh, it allows the user to scroll backward through former commands. We will see it on our Cisco Pack Tracer. So these two shortcuts are one of the most important uh, uh, shortcuts. Uh, suppose we will go to enable configure terminal and here we are going to give an interface first third zero slash one. Suppose we want to okay here uh, this interface is uh, not available so we will give an interface uh, G0 slash 0. Yes, now we are in a uh, interface uh, configuration mode. Suppose uh, here we want to uh, rewrite this command interface uh, G0 slash 0 again. Then for that we can use uh, this uh, down arrow or up arrow so that we will uh, get this uh, uh, interface G0 slash 0 again. Suppose I am going to press your up arrow. Here we can see interface G0 slash 0. 
uh, here I'm going to modify it g0 slash 1 I'm going to press enter so here now we are in this interface g0 slash 1 now we are going to uh, press this up arrow so that we can see the command what we given last it's a g0 slash 1 again we are going to press up arrow we can see the next command we given interface g0 slash 0 and again we are going to press up arrow here we can see the first command what we given interface uh, f0 slash 1 so even we can uh, again we can press this uh, down arrow and uh, we can go back to g0 slash 0 g0 slash 1 then everything will be removed coming to the last shortcut uh, but not the least uh, it's a uh, tab we can see uh, this com this shortcut will be the uh, most commonly used uh, uh, command uh, in our ios it completes the reminder of a partially typed command or keyword when enough of the command or keyword has been entered to appear unique press the tab key and the cli will display the rest of the command or keyword we will uh, see this uh, uh, shortcut tab uh, using our Cisco Packet Tracer. So we will go to a uh, user exit mode. Uh, here I am going to give E, N, and then I am going to press the tab what button. Here we can see uh, this uh, incomplete command is completed. Now we will press enter. Now we are going to give C O N. Uh, we can see this is not a, a unique uh, keyword because uh, we can see the commands uh, which start with the C O N. We have to configure and connect. So when we press a tab, it won't complete this uh, keyword. We will try it. We will press a tab. No, it's not completing. So uh, for configure, we have to give C O N F. Now we can press a tab. So again, if you press a tab, because just after configure, we have only one command that is terminal. So here we have to press again tab. So we can see this uh, command terminal automatically comes. Then we can press enter. Now we will go to uh, interface uh, configuration mode. So for that we have to give an interface. So we can give uh, a unique command int. Then we can press tab so that it will complete that command interface. Now uh, for fast Ethernet. So this is a router. So we will give a gigabit Ethernet. For that we can give G. And we can press uh, tab. So it shows gigabit Ethernet. Now we have to give the number 0 slash 0. Now we will exit from here. Suppose so here for this interface I am going to give only I then we are going to press tab. Here we can see this interface is not coming because uh, we can see uh, the commands starting with the I interface IP IPv6. So for interface a minimum we have to give till I N. So we have to give I N. Uh, and then tab so now we are in interface yes so in this way we can uh, complete the remainder of a partially typed command or keyword uh, using this uh, shortcut tab friends we have seen many hotkeys and shortcuts in this video if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below also if i missed out any hotkeys or shortcuts uh, please comment below and friends, consider subscribing our channel for greater support. And don't forget to enable the bell icon so that you won't miss out any videos. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.